Good morning. It is Saturday, April 20th, 2024. It is currently 4.17 a.m. in my locale. Yes, I know I didn't do anything for the last week or so. I did post on the community page that much was afoot, and I think it's time to let you know what's afoot. Well, it's a thing at the end of your leg, but if you didn't know that, now you do. Remember, 2024, education isn't, so we got to keep in mind that. So, what has happened? Well, I did say some things were brewing. Um, I am no longer the naturalist on the boat, but you guys knew that, okay? Um, I still go in and I can pinch it if somebody's sick or, you know, I can help teach them because I have myself and my partner who she moved yesterday. Uh, we still wrote the notes. Then I moved to be uh, working on the houseboats. And those are a lot of fun because those are a little bed and breakfast on the water. And that was enjoyable. I really enjoy that. And I still can just, you know, if the boss, well, my old boss, needs me to do one, I can grab a houseboat. I can orient the, the customer. I can clean them if I have a, some spare time. But I'm not going to have a lot of spare time. And the reason is that I am now the store manager. So the marina store that sits in front of the houseboats, that sits in front of the tour boats, that everybody has to come into, I now manage the store. I'm going to let that sink in for a minute, okay? That means that everybody there from the campground to the lodge to the restaurant to the boats, to the houseboats, to rental boats, everybody has to come into the store. At some point in time, you're in there doing something, whether it be asking for directions, getting ice, or buying a hat or a t-shirt. Somebody, ha everybody has to come into the store. That also makes me something that I thought, two things I thought I was trying to kind of escape from. One is management. If that doesn't scare every single one of you out there to the core, I don't know what will. And the other one is salary. I'm not an hourly employee anymore. That's not as much fun either. You know, they always said to me when I was young, they said, you know, you have to work really hard for 40 hours a week so that you can be the boss and you can work for 60 hours a week. Well, it was an opportunity that I couldn't let walk away. There was another opportunity that I looked at also on the same site. Uh, just a matter of growth and development. That, that's all it was to it. So, uh, if you ever get to the end of the world, start with the store first. See if I'm there. If I'm not, you might be seeing me on a houseboat. If I'm not, you might see me helping out, you know, orienting somebody to uh, the naturalist stuff. Or you might even find me throwing a kayak or a canoe in the water because we're short-staffed today because it is getting to the end of the season. Also, for a lot of fun today, I have to go in at 6.30 because we have to open the store. I'm still learning that process. I'll probably stay for a while, but I have to try to judge what is the slow time today because I have to run back and take care of Bodie, who is currently asleep right here. And then I have to go back because I still am trying to orient myself to the close out of the store. So I'm, it's a lot of paperwork and things like that. I'll get to it, you know, and there is some reporting and things. I'll get to it. it. It's just going to take some time to, you know, stick in the noggin. So that is the big stuff that's afoot. Uh, the only thing I can really think about besides is uh, I have to wait for my second cup of coffee to come out of the pour over is I wonder if Carrie would be proud of me. I don't know. It depends on whether she's still out of her mind back in five minutes where she goes, oh, okay, you know, that, yeah, that makes sense. Because in two days, I will have been at the end of the world for two years. So that will be two years of my hermitage. So let's start over again. Let me read you our daily Zen poem. Okay. Oh, and by the way, um, no gifts, no anything else. But if you need mugs, t-shirts, um, if you need a hamburger bite or a hot dog, or you need a keychain, I'm, I'm your hookup guy now, all right? Our poem says, 
Outwardly, all activities cease. Inwardly, the mind stops its panting. When one's, one's mind has become a wall, he may then begin to enter the Tao. And that's Bodhidharma. Bodhidharma. I know that's cute. That last two lines are going to are describing right now what I am dealing with right now. When one's mind has become a wall, then he may begin to enter the Tao. So I know I'm probably overthinking some of these things that have to be done. Once I get into the groove, I won't have to think about it anymore. Um, still handing out flamingos. Small children, pretty women. Yes, they get a flamingo when I'm there. Uh, if you want one, let me know. I think just about everybody here has one. Uh, let's see. And, of course, everybody's leaving. Uh, we have a number of people. Leave. Uh, my partner, Joe, her, she and her husband, they're gone. The guy next to me, okay, his rig is still here because it belongs to somebody else who has to pick it up. He's gone. The guy past him, he's still here. He works at the restaurant. The guy past him is gone. The former assistant marina manager and her boyfriend, they're gone. They're going to be gone soon. The people past them work on the dock and at the lodge. They're going to be gone in May. Okay, the people across from me, they left two weeks ago. The guy on the far end by the bay, he's gone. Uh, one of our captains, he's he left yesterday. Uh, the junior naturalist, he's leaving. He'll be gone t today. Um, you know, it's going to be a tough travel day for them. They chose Saturday poorly. And the reason that they chose Saturday poorly is because today is what is called Amnesty Day at Everglades National Park. That means you get in for free. That is a $30 value. The line at the top of the park is going to be 30 minutes long. Guaranteed. It was last time. They do this four times a year. So that's why I've got to time my day for the slowest part and run back. Take care of the big guy, run back, and just keep moving on. So today's going to be a long day. I was also running two schedules. Now I'm jumping around. Uh, the marina schedule had me off Tuesday, Wednesday. So I took off Tuesday, Wednesday, but now this week is a Saturday, so it begins the store schedule. So now I'll be off Friday and Saturday. It's it's crazy. Let's just go for our daily room pull. Hey, buddy. That is the rune of disruption, which is not a bad thing sometimes. Hold on, would you? Thank you much. Uh, 121. Disruption. Change, freedom, invention, and liberation are all attributes of this room. It, it presents a pressing need within the psyche to break free from constricting identification with material reality and to experience the world of archetypal mind. It is a rune of elemental destruction and of events that seem to be totally beyond your control. <laughs> yeah. Hagalaz is only an upright position. It always operates in reverse. Okay. When you do this, expect disruption, which I'm having. I'm back and forth to the store three times a day. I'm, I'm in the morning. I'm back. I'm, I'm here in the middle of the day for like two hours and I run back. Okay. Uh, gradual feeling of coming to your senses and... The onset of power may be such to rip away the fabric which we previously knew is your reality. What operates here is not an outside force. It is a situ situation of you at the mercy of the internals. You are creating the situation. And you are not without power. So all the inner strength you have funded until now in your life is your support and your guide at a time when everything you've taken for ch granted is being challenged. The more severe the disruption in your life, the more significant and timely the requirements for your growth. Another one of the cycle runes always. Radical discontinuity best describes the action of Hagalaz at its most forceful. The universe and your own soul are demanding that you do indeed grow. So I don't know what your disruption is going to be today or how you're going to grow today. However, you really are in charge of that. You're really the boss of that. You may not be able to charge the situation. You can't change what's going on. What you can change more than anything else in the entire world is how you respond to that. Uh, that was Victor Frankel, I think. 
But how you respond to that change, how you work with that change, how you do anything with that change is very, very important. So I'm going to cut it off here. Remember, if you don't take care of you, nobody will. Thank you, Mom. Are they like-minded? Do they share your values? And do they have something to offer? And if no, or um, ease them down the street. I will try my best to do a little bit of a video later today. Um, I have to get in the shower after my coffee, and I got to get started. Have a good day, guys. Bye.